Hello everyone, happy Friday. I have my hair and makeup done because I just did a podcast interview so I thought it would be a good time to do a Facebook Live. It's funny though because I can hear an ice cream truck in the distance playing Deck the Halls even though it's January 19th. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share with you why your BS affirmations aren't working. Um, if you know me already, you know that I am passionate about personal development and mindset work, the power of positive thinking. I'm even writing a book about positivity and happiness, so you might be a little bit surprised to hear me talking about BS affirmations. The reason why I am, however, is because sometimes we lie to ourselves. For the longest time, even me, I can probably look back a couple months ago into my journal and see where I've written... I am a six-figure business owner. Guess what? I am not a six-figure business owner. So when I write that down, my BS-ometer goes off because it's like, uh, Mandy, are you counting things after the decimal point? And my brain knows that I'm not telling the truth. Just like if you are trying to lose weight and you tell yourself, I am fit, I am skinny, Whatever it is that you're trying to do, if it's not the case right now, your brain knows you're lying. And then you have a distrust factor. And then your affirmations just aren't going to work. Now, this doesn't mean that I think that you should completely stop doing affirmations because there's definitely still value in doing them. Like I said, I'm writing a book about positivity and happiness, so of course I want you to think positively. But what is important is that you don't set off that BSometer I was talking about. So here is how you do it. Instead of telling yourself, like for example with me, I am a six-figure business owner, with all the decimals being where they're supposed to be, I can tell myself that my numbers are going up. I can tell myself that I am working consistently every day to become the person who is a six-figure business owner. I can tell myself positive things that I'm doing that are true that are bringing me closer to being wherever I want to be. In the weight loss example that I gave, you could say something like, I am working hard every day to make good food choices, or I am working out every day and feel a little stronger, or something again that is true and still leading you on the right path, but that isn't going to make your brain feel a disconnect and call you out on your lying. All right, so that is just something quick that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And stay tuned because I'm going to pop this into an accountability post that I'm going to do this weekend, sharing how my January and first quarter and 2018 resolutions are going so far. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye. Oh, and comment. Let me know what affirmations you have because I'd be really curious to hear what they are. Okay, now bye.